So we're going to cook grey mullet with chorizo and red pepper. First thing you need to do, get a frying pan on the heat. While that's getting really, really hot, we'll chop the chorizo. Now this is going to give a really kind of sweet kind of smokiness to the dish. Really works well. So just chop it up into little chunks, pop those straight in the pan, and we'll start to let those cook. A little bit of oil in there just to kind of get it going really. Give it a little shake. And then while that's starting to cook, we're going to add one clove of garlic. Just lay it flat, use the back of your knife and just smash it and it'll unwrap really easily. And then we're just going to run a knife through it. It doesn't have to be really, really finely chopped. It can just be fairly rough. Pop that straight in the pan. You can see all the nice, rich, orangey oils that have come out there. That's great. That's going to mean loads of flavour. So I've got some chopped red peppers here. Just pop those straight in as well. And we're just going to let this dish cook down really gently and get all the flavours to marry together. Give it a good turn. Get everything coated in that oil. Now add in some sherry vinegar, which will just kind of cut the oil and richness. In with a sprinkle of pepper, in with a sprinkle of salt. This is an oven proof dish. I'm going to put everything back in that dish there. And then that can go in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes till it gets really nice and soft. While the peppers and chorizo are cooking down in the oven, we can prepare the fish. So I've got this grey mullet here, all ready to cook. So first thing we need to do, on with a hot non-stick pan, got a really sharp knife, pinch the skin together and we're just going to make little cuts along the skin. And what this will do is it'll stop it curling up and it'll allow us to get some seasoning and flavour into the fish. So pinch it together and just little cuts like that. About a third of the way into the fillet. Rub olive oil onto the skin. The reason why we do this is we want to put oil on the fish, not in the pan, because we're going to pan fry this. We'll just sprinkle sea salt on the fillets. Be quite generous with this. It's a good, gutsy, earthy dish, this. Same again with the pepper. Just sprinkle the pepper on. And then using your finger, just kind of push the seasoning into the cuts. Take the fish to the pan, and then we're going to lay it skin side down, away from ourselves, and then straight in with the next one. And we're just going to hold the fillets down so they don't curl up at all. And then you get a really nice, even cook in the pan. So while this is skin side down, we're going to season the flesh side. A bit of sea salt on there. Always got to season your food. It's so important. Black pepper on there as well. You can see the white on the edges. That's where the fish is starting to cook. Just using a spoon, just carefully flip it over. Skin's crisping up really nice there. So I'm going to turn the heat down. Fish is almost ready, so I'm going to get the peppers straight out of the oven. They've all cooked down and they've got really, really rich now with that lovely oil. What we need to add to this is some chopped parsley. Grab a good chunk of parsley and then we'll just chop that nice and fine and sprinkle it straight in with the peppers. The fish nearly there now. Just going to add a half a lemon, squeeze it straight into the pan. And what that'll do is it'll create some steam and it'll just create kind of a really nice kind of rich sauce as well. So I'm going to turn the pan off, give these peppers a nice stir. Got a real wonderful kind of earthy smokiness to them. And then this clean, fresh tasting fish. There you go. Roasted red peppers, chorizo and grey mullet.